Look at this big ass fucking view right here. All right, so this is the start of our day-long adventure, Eagle Rock through Mount Baldy, actually probably Mount Baldy to Eagle Rock, and then uh, back home. So we'll see how this goes. Join us, won't you? Pretty much the last point where you can see Colorado Springs. That goes up that way. On the fucking climb, 0.7 miles. Don't film me filming you. Filming me. Filming you. Filming you. It's Inception. Oh my God. in the Beastie Beastie up front. And a bunch of assholes that shoot trees down. Even though there are plenty of signs saying do not shoot the trees. Remember this. Starting to see some snow, and I think that's where we're actually going. 
Mount Baldy straight ahead, so probably be in some snow soon. There's some of the shadows out here already, so. Steady always wins the race, especially when you're driving on the side of a mountain. I was wrong. This is looks like the last view of the city, maybe. Depends on how much higher up we go. But pretty crazy. We've really only been on the road for, I want to say, an hour, and that's how far away the city is. Yeah. Jeeps parked about as high as this part of Cool breeze, warm sun. Absolutely beautiful day. The problem with most off-roading videos is you have no idea with a front mount camera how vertical this is right now. So like it looks like I'm driving down a flat trail basically. But here's to give you a general idea of how steep this is. This is level. Fucking beautiful day for four wheeling.
process of climbing Mount Baldy here. Pretty fucking high up. A little rough trail, but not too bad. Then on a lot worse, to say the least. I wonder if that's why they call it Mount Baldy. That'll be guy's bald spot. Special service road. Special service road authorized vehicles only. Well, fuck you guys. Well, man. I see. I wanted to get up there. Because that's what I would have assumed they meant by Mount Baldy. But looks like that piece of shit gate stuff. So that's Mount Baldy. Can't go any further because of the blocked trail. Looks like there's some kind of antenna up there. I really wanted to get up there, but it's probably pretty steep and treacherous. It doesn't look like it, but it's a, probably a lot more steep than it looks. And I don't see any trails, so back down we go. Well, we made it to the top of Mount Baldy. Still cold as fuck, as you can see by all the snow. Beautiful view, though. Please excuse the fact that this is being post-recorded in editing, but... GoPro has a tendency to sometimes not record or it'll not record properly. This is one of those cases. The video stopped here because it's at this moment I noticed something to my left off of the cliff side that was glimmering and just to the right of that glimmering kind of chrome metal was red obviously car paint metal. and. That's when I realized there was a vehicle that had turned over and rolled down this cliff to my left and I decided to immediately stop the vehicle, hop out and climb down the side of this cliff to investigate, make sure that it didn't just happen, that there was nobody in the vehicle, etc. So this point is where the video will start and that's the moment i started the gopro and hopped out of the jeep there is no audio so i will have to narrate it i apologize for that so here we go as you can see it's all green i don't know what happened there there's no audio hence the narration i'm trying to decide what's the best way down i'm also communicating with rusty on the radio to decide if it's safe or not and whether or not I should even try the descent. So now I have communicated to him that I'm definitely going to hop down and investigate. It is very, I mean, it is extremely steep. This is by far some of the steepest climbing I've ever done. Just willy-nilly hopping out of a vehicle and, you know, no gloves, no climbing gear, no nothing. So... Um, as you can see, it's loose, very, very loose gravel, and there's some snow patches, so I'm trying to be as careful as possible, admiring the view a little bit, put my walkie-talkie away so I have a free hand, and that way I can hold the camera and then still also descend safely. Communicating back with Rusty, letting him know how steep it is, and that I'm going to continue the descent. I almost fall a couple of times, I'm going to skip past that so that I can save some time in this video. At this point, I realized that the snow is extremely deep. It is beyond knee deep, and it's still deeper than that. That's just the point where the snow compacts enough to hold up my body weight. Way deeper than knee deep. It's very slick as well. There's rock underneath. There's gravel, so it's very hard to keep my footing. I'm trying to make plannings for my feet so that I can angle myself down. You can see the snowballs rolling ahead of me. This is, this is pretty close to 45 degrees. 
All right, at this point, I've edited out about five minutes of footage. I've climbed quite a ways down. I can't even see Rusty over the ridge line anymore. I'm coming up on the truck. I believe, I wanna say it's like a 90s Toyota based on the seats and the steering wheel. There's no airbags. So it's probably a early 90s, 92 Tacoma. It looks like a V6. You guys can comment below if you disagree. But there was two heads, so I know it's a V something. I don't believe it was a V8. Someone came and took the hubs and brakes and axle shafts and drive shaft. They did not take the leafs because they're bent. I'm communicating here again with Rusty to let him know that I'm down there and I'm safe. Hopefully these guys made it out all right. I didn't see any signs of any type of extraction or uh, rescue. There was no blood, there was no clothing. So the snow here again is over knee deep. It's, it's amazing how deep the snow is. I'm checking here for any signs of life, any, anything. I just, I don't like leaving the scene without making sure that there's, you know, nothing that can be done or that there's nobody still down there. Circling around, trying to get in a little bit from the top because the snow's so deep. Um, you can see like the old seats, old steering wheel. At this point, I decide that there's no point in hanging out. Whoever was there is obviously gone at this point and safe, so I turn off the camera and start the hike. I don't know if it was worth the climb, but the footage was good. Well, it looks like we found our campsite, or, or I should say our lunch site. Not too bad of a view. Really wish we could have got up there. But, it looks like there's a trail going that way. I wonder what, what's that? Probably goes nowhere, but we get a little fire started, grill some wieners. So we had some sausages and some cheese and now we are ready to turn around. We're going to go a different way back so it's not boring Just looping back. But as you can see if we're at 11,340, that's 12,000 right there where that line of trees ends and above 12,000 it's called the tree line because Trees can't even get enough oxygen up there. So as you can imagine, it's pretty hard to breathe right here. And pretty fucking windy. So we're gonna get down this hill.
spin around.
that was an eventful test drive, I guess. Uh, making sure the Jeeps are ready for next weekend. We will be going on Cinco de Mayo weekend to a couple of different abandoned gold mine ghost towns. Ten Cup, St. Elmo, Independence, uh, I think one other one. But that will be this coming weekend. So stay tuned for that video and be sure to like the video if you like. Subscribe so you're notified as soon as we upload a new video. And as always guys,